Watteau's pilgrimage to Scythria is another example of French aristocracy while lacking depth or meaning. What we're seeing is an outdoor scene, an amorous festival, a favorite subject for the artist. And it's actually a fia galant, a category of painting that we see in the French Academy. And this is going to be used to describe Watteau's variations on the theme of basically a ball dress or masquerade costume as placed amorously in Parkland settings. In short, these works depict elegant outdoor amusements of the elite. Yeah. Right in the middle of form versus color debate in France. So there's a debate throughout art, color versus form. What's more important, the use of color or the use of composition? And this one falls right in the middle. Poussin at one time had wanted to focus on form, composition. Whereas artists like Rubens want to focus on color. And actually, it's really Rubens' followers. But returning to the painting, here, young lovers have made a pilgrimage to Scythria, an island of eternal youth and love sacred to Aphrodite. We see a voluptuous sculpture off on the right there, and amorous cupids which are there to enhance the mood. The figures have a pose and sweetness about them, very saccharine, very disturbing, perhaps. The artists also strive for minute color differences to accentuate light on the luxurious surfaces, more so than on the overall background. The haze of color, the subtlety of mottled shapes, gliding motions, an air of suave gentility would appeal to Rococo patrons. So as we look at this, it lacks some of the technical detail that we would expect from Lorraine or Poussin. It lacks some of the composition that we would expect from someone like, well, Velasquez. But what we have is this amorous festival, and I should explain, in the upper classes, just as in the Renaissance, all the way up through this time period, all the way to the Victorian, what you have is a situation where everyone's in an arranged marriage, and everyone's kind of out and about on one another. So this amorous festival is basically, look, live in love, enjoy this, but this is something that would only exist for the aristocracy. If you're working class in Paris, you're not worried about a pilgrimage to a mythical island. You're worried about not dying of starvation. So this really does center on this very specific viewer, the very specific patrons of this kind of art, of the Rococo.